Hello my friends, my family, and my followers. It's Hike360 here and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. I am at the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore, Bailey Shellberg Hike. We're here to do a 3.3 mile hike today. I'm accompanied by my dad and my brother. Grateful to have them here. And yeah, so we've got our watches. Watch, start your watch. I didn't start mine. And today is Father's Day and Ivan just sent me a happy Father's Day notice. Excellent. So yeah, we are definitely celebrating Father's Day uh, with the father out at a national park. What do you got to say about Father's Day, Dad? Uh, nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. All right. No, no. I mean, this is so perfect. It's so symmetric and perfect uh, that we are all three together that this is uh, the finishing hikes. Second to last hike uh, we're to be done on Father's Day and we're going to then follow this one up uh, as the last hike in our book. And, uh, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. You know, I'm obviously exchanging information with uh, all of my friends around Father's Day and uh, you know everyone's got some time planned during the day but a lot of people are golfing or doing whatever I'm hanging with you guys for the entire weekend that's it's pretty cool yeah. so nice. I'm very very happy with that awesome and it's you guys so thank you righto so on this hike uh, we're gonna be passing by the Shell Shellberg farm uh, which was owned by three generations of emigrants, immigrants, immigrants, immigrants. Uh, but you couldn't be three generation of immigrant. It's only the first generation that immigrated, and then you are nationalized. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna be stopping by the uh, farm that they owned since 1830s uh, until the. Um, National Park Foundation bought up the land in 1970. I think that's right. Uh, okay, and then we're gonna check out the Bailey Cemetery, walk around, we'll pass over the Little Calumet River, through the Noki Prairie, past the Bailey Homestead, and then back to the trailhead. Uh, right here, this has got to be the farm right no the farm's up ahead oh, so we'll film ahead. that next but right here this is a, a maple shed so they're making some maple syrup and i assume these uh this is a long row of maple although it looks like there's some oaks in here too but uh yeah so all these interpretive signs uh in front of us are all about making maple syrup or harvesting maple syrup how do you feel about maple syrup from a maple syrup's okay with you, right? From a from vegan, vegan standpoint? standpoint? Yeah. Yeah, maple syrup's great. I own some. You, you own <laughs> you, Is that an ETF? <laughs> no. You convert your cyber into <laughs> none of that. <laughs> to big maple. <laughs> to big maple industry. Bit maple? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hold uh, one bit maple coin. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, you know, it's the. Uh, all the uh, legislation that Big Maple is passing through. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, maple, Bit Maple's looked at as property and not... Uh, In Canada? And not a currency. <laughs> yeah. Anywho, yeah, I, I own some, some maple <laughs> syrup at home. A jar of maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why effect. we become parents, right? <laughs> so... We can move through these accomplishments of our children. <laughs> My son has a jar of maple syrup at home. It's organic. <laughs> uh, well, we didn't learn much about maple syrup, but that was kind of fun. We're going to be doing a big giant circle. And as per standards of the book, we're going counterclockwise. Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's right. You know what I love is when you holding the camera do all these circles. <laughs> the editing afterwards is so much, so much more fun. It's true. It's true. <laughs> all right. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe. Come tune back tomorrow so you can see the farm that's just in front of us.